If you want to know what is my favorite play style, it is a deck where I feel like I need my toggle on during my opponent's turn. If I'm playing a deck where I don't need to toggle on during the opponent's turn, I'm not having as much fun as I could. I love toggle on, start of the damage step, uh, start of the battle phase that is, doing cards at the end of the main phase. I, I love toggling on battle step outside of the attack declaration. If they set a card, it's time to activate or flip a card. I, I love it. I love the timing. I love the intricacies, the nuances of all of the different damage steps. When at the start of the damage step to use in the middle of the damage step, damage calculation, you name it. I want to do it. And this seems like a deck that might be one of my favorite play styles. We'll see. So get ready for Suna Valen. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Lone Fire Blossom. I think this is a card that Gia, remind me, tell me, was this card limited to one or banned? I think it was limited to one. Normal, special summoning a normal monster from the deck. You what, mate? This requires a level four lower plant monster, okay? And when this was Link Summoned, you can, if you used a Sun Sea Genius Loki, you get to add the Sunvine Spell and Trap from your deck to your hand. That adds the Sunvine Sewing, which is the brand new card. This just came out in the latest pack. This will special summon a Sun Seed from your deck. Take 1,000. If you control no Son of All In links, you could only special summon the Genius Loki, but we do have a Son of All In. For the rest of this turn, you cannot special, you're locked in a plant, which means no Hulk, no Aurora Dawn, none of that trash. What does this one do? Sun Seed Twin. If this card is summoned, you can target a plant in the graveyard, special summon it. Okay. If you have two or more plants of the same name in the graveyard, you can special summon one of them. Oh, wait, 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 what the heck? Did this? So off of this summon, we summon two cards on the field. We are link climbing like crazy. Was this able to summon? You uh, gain life. I do, I'm not going to pretend like I know what this deck does. We're going to just try to kind of understand what it does as it's going along. Healer going to heal for 300. We're going to rank up, link up, climb the link ladder into Aroma Jasmine. I love my aromas and dual links. And I was sad to see they're not so good in Master Duel, but now with the Sun Seed Sewing, the brand new card, maybe it is good, maybe. This deck's gonna convince me to be my main deck, my new main deck, I want it. The Jasmine gaining life, we draw a card. Is that what it's doing? If your life points are higher than your opponent, okay, cannot be sure by battle. What'd it do? When we gain life, did we draw? That's similar to the small one. You could tribute one monster, special summon. Once returned, if you gain life, add a, ooh, add the small Jasmine, the non-link draws. This one adds a plant from your deck to your hand. Nuts, okay. We're making another Jasmine. You can only use the effect of the Jasmine once returned. Okay, this one, the, the once return of gaining life of drawing a card, it's, you could do that more than once, I believe. Rose Girl, special summon. We tribute a plant to special summon a plant. We're gonna grab the Rick of Fairy. Snowdrop is in dual links. Link four. This is the big one, but it has no animation. It's a big tree. What does the big tree do? The big tree, if Link summon, you could add a Sunavalin spell trap from your deck to your hand if this card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Cannot be targeted for attacks. Okay. You can tribute a Link monster this points to to destroy any number of cards your opponent controls up to that Link monster's rating. Okay. Tentacles. Son of All in Bloom. When this card's activated, if you control Link 4 or higher, you can negate the effects of all face-up monsters currently on the field. So we have a full field negate on the flip. Not as good as the Harpy Wind negate for the whole turn, because this will only be monster on the field. Now, the Aroma Sweet Marjoram. This is a waifu, yes? Confirm or deny, this is what we need in Duel Links. When your life points are higher than your opponents, your opponent cannot target plant monsters. That's nuts. And if this card is synchro summoned, you could add a humid winds, dried winds, or blessed winds from your deck to your hand. I love those cards. I love the blessed winds. It's got three different effects. It's nuts. It could special summon, it could return, you could gain life, you could trigger effects. Nuts. If you gain life, target a card your opponent controls, destroy it. This is insane. This is a big boss monster. On summon, grabbing the humid winds, which will search. We already got the blessed winds. Oh my. 
Oh my, too good for Duel Links? Probably, probably. This one is also nuts. We don't have this in Duel Links. It's too good for Duel Links. You could target a monster on the field, tribute it. It's a quick effect if you have a plant monster as a material. Tribute, DPE, does not activate in the graveyard. It sends, it's like a send, but it's not destroy. Not actually a send, it's a tribute. I like it. Holy moly. We have negates, we have gain, we have special summon, we have search, we have anti-harpy feather duster. Okay. Sky striker. Alrighty. Control deck for it. Harpy feather duster. <laughs> huge revolution is over. Not only is the huge revolution over going to be good against harpy feather duster, but it counters DPE. If you have this, if you have this set, they summon DPE. You chain this to DPE, DPE negated and banished. Nuts, really good. Unfortunately, Starlight Road is not good against DPE. This card's just better. Bunnish. Yeah, this Marjoram's too good, too good for Duel Links. But I think it could be added in Duel Links because it's, Aroma's not even near top tier. Grabbing the Widow Anchor, we got a negate. Goodbye to the Kaiser Coliseum, into another Kaiser Coliseum. Chaining Blessed Winds, gonna special summon an Aroma from the graveyard. Will this trigger something? Okay. Fusion Destiny, but our huge revolution over is gone. We have a negates. We have, we could tribute it. We could negate it. We could gain life and then pop it. But then we'll activate in the graveyard. Tribute it. But it's just going to chain. But then we can negate the chain. Yes. Tribute, chain, negate. Now it does not pop. Now it gets tributed, and it's not coming back. Beautiful. I, I love this type of control. It feels good. It feels great. I, I like thinking. I like interaction. Aroma. Gain 1800. That triggers the Marjoram to pop a card in the back row. Pop a card in the back row. Oh, this is great. This is good. I love control. Unexpected die. Okay, so you have multiple ways to make that tree. You want it with the lone fire. You want it with the unexpected die. You make this to grab the brand new spell. This one. Okay, so that's the starter. I love these replaces, and then I'm learning a lot. We learning, we big learning. Special summon, that's gonna summon a link monster from the deck and a monster from the grave. So this one card, this is one card. One card combo? How far are we getting with one card? One unexpected die, one lone fire blossom, and we got this field off of one card, not even committing to the normal summon yet. This is an extender, so we are extending here. We're gonna see how necessary this is. Double Jasmine, can we gain life to get drawing? Draw, draw, double, the double add that is. It's not draw, it's add. Add a plant, add a plant. That is nuts. Not a hard once return. We haven't even committed to the normal summon. This looks like the Exodia hand. Tribute, summon a plant from the deck. Rose Girl, special summon. Pedal, grab the Snowdrop, Snowdrop into the Tribute. Is this gonna be similar to the last game? Probably, this will search for the Negates. Also, Indestructible Mate. Snowdrop Fairy, I think she turns another monster into level eight, right? The Snowdrop does, so for the Exceed. Rick of Glamour, search, then I think you get Tribute afterward, right? No. Normal Summon Lone Fire, Tribute. Special Summon Lone Fire. That's gonna trigger the Rika to special summon from the hand when a monster is tributed, right? Yes. Whoa, what is she? She's in Duel Links, I remember her. If a monster is tributed, you could detach a material, target a monster in either graveyard, special summon it, but negate its effects. You could steal DPE with the Rika Queen. Steal. Marjoram, search for a blessed, humid, or dried winds. We got the blessed. Snowdrop is going to turn the monster into level eight. I remember that. There we go. Quick effect, target, tribute. So this was kind of like the other game we watched, but we have an extra queen on the field. So if a monster's tributed, which we could force them to tribute, then we could steal the monster, special summon it. If a plant would be destroyed by card effect, you could tribute a plant from your hand or graveyard instead. All right, looks good. We got negate, we got reborn, we got pop, we got tribute. Sword Soul, top tier. Let's go. We didn't even reborn to extend our plays. 
Monkatenyi, Blessed Winds. Gain life. That's going to trigger the Marjoram to pop it. Pop it. Loving it. You had so many choices. You could Blessed Winds Reborn, or you could Blessed Winds Gain Life to trigger the Marjoram. Beautiful. Not even committing to the normal summon yet. Special summoning the Incredible Ecclesia. Negate. Negate the negate. I'm happy to see that. I want to see a good duel here. But whatever he summons is going to get hit by the, the bloom or tributed. Okay, so, so what we are targeting to tribute. If a monster is tributed, you could detach. Wait, if a plant would be destroyed by card effect, what effect's happening right here? If a monster is tributed, except during the damage step, wait. The Incredible Ecclesia tributed. She tributed herself. You tribute this card, which triggered the queen to reborn a monster. Let's go. What are we stealing? Oh, we're summoning our own monster back in the field. Okay, that's fine. And we are... Hold up. Wait, why did this not tribute? There's a quick effect. You can only apply this once for tech. Each time a monster is... Oh, it did not activate the tribute. It just gained 200 attack. We are going to bloom and negate, and we still have the monster tribute effect, mate. Then summon, then tribute. Oh, he's letting him synchro. Grandmaster is going to negate you, yes? But it's not. It can't negate, and we're going to see why. I think. He's going to be dumping the blackout. What? Uh, blackout with the Taya, searching for the Emergence. Gonna grab Protos or Long Yun. Very good. Generally, you don't you don't grab Emergence to grab Long Yun. You grab Emergence to grab Protos. Otherwise, you directly grab the Long Yun. Because otherwise, you could get Ash Blossomed. You don't want the Emergence to get Ash Blossomed, and then you lose your Long Yun. And they can't Ash Blossom the Grandmaster because you're gonna Chain Link block. Okay, Long Yun. Discarding Mo Yi. Tribute the token. Didn't even try to negate. Keck wait. Rick a queen. Dead. Okay. Rick a petal. Off of losing your monster, I'm sure it resummoned. Or during the end phase, you, oh, while in the end phase during your opponent's turn, summon onto the field. Okay. Rick a petal gets searching for the Rick a fairy. We're going to make a Jasmine. We're gonna get the effect, the big Link 4. This is gonna pop two cards on the field, tribute a Link 2, pop two, Grandmaster negate, but what are you negating? We are untargetable, you're gonna negate yourself. <laughs> Negated his Long Yun. The Marjoram states that when we are higher life points, higher, you cannot target plants. <laughs> Negates his own Long Yun. Keck waits, let's go. Blessed Winds is going to probably special summon. I love it. Control the duel. I'm not sure how good this deck is going second, but going first, there's a lot of good plays to tribute this, pop that, negate this. I like it. I love it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not everyone's favorite play style. I love a play style like this. It's slow. It's controlled. And we just dealt 8,400 damage out of nowhere. How? If your plant link attacks, you could have it gain attack equal to the combined attack of monsters it points to. What? Okay, negate and baboost. Let's go. Thank you so much, Khaled, for this display of Son of Alin. It's a really cool looking control deck. I like plants, I like them in dual links. And if you want, if you're brave enough, you could copy his player ID and you could watch the 73 turn duel against stun for the memes. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I have better things to do, like play this deck myself. We got the opener with the unexpected die. We got the opener with the lone fire blossom. The sunvine sewing is searchable with the link. I love it. That's the deck. Have at it, fools.